Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Arindam and in this video I will be showing you how to get platinum in all of the races in Everspace 2. Now from my previous video I actually went to Prescott Starbase and I finally have gotten the scout, a tier 4 scout, something that I wanted to purchase a very very long time ago. So if you have been following me my first ship was the sentinel the second was a bomber third was a tier 3 plus interceptor fourth was a tier 4 gunship and now this is the next one i actually wanted to purchase a scout as my very first as my very uh, first bot ship after the sentinel because i found out that i am using the railgun a lot and the scouts is the preferred ship for using the railgun i actually like playing sniper like characters but in the end, because of how Everspace 2 is and the fact that um, gunships and interceptors are much better compared to scouts in doing general purpose work like uh, moving cargo, completing missions and 100% 100% completing the game. So I did not purchase the scout at that moment. Now I finally purchased it and I have painted it in my own country's theme. So it's the India pattern livery as you can see. Some of, some of you guys might also think of it as the color scheme for Ireland. So here is my color scheme. To show you the engine colors. It looks really pretty. And these are the ship modules that I'm going to be using. Obviously you know that Spirit D34. D34. Now this video is mostly about the races let's go into the data part player stats racing as you can see we have this many races to complete some of them I have already made platinum in this case and some are already gold using the interceptor as you can clearly see from this ships icon and some of them are bronze because I used a bomber for the races and uh, for this I used a gunship but we will be attempting platinum on every single one of them and let's see how it goes. For my equipment, other than being a scout, I have this and this one. So only this eco booster and this energizer is what you require. Actually you would require something that gives a bit more boost. I mean instead of prioritizing weapons, you should prioritize the boost. But that's okay. We don't need it. We don't need. Uh, I I think I'm more or less confident that I could be able to complete platinum with this. Other than that, for the perks, I have everything unlocked. And here, I probably won't be using any of these things. Maybe the fusion hook would come in handy. So let me do something. We change this and convert it to fusion hook. This might actually help. So yeah. For the races, I would require utmost concentration and so I will not be doing any kind of commentary when the race goes on. So now I'm going to be actually doing the first race and let's go.
infinite madman beat the timer. and his great score and winning success. <laughs> I'm up on my record time. I like it. Madman has taken the top position. Yeah, 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 thank you.
Infinite Madman is the absolute winner. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The race begins with the Infinite Madman looking good against the timer. Can he keep it up? Okay, now that I have completed all of the races, as you can see I have made platinum in all of the races, I am going to be giving you a couple of tips that should help you uh, make sure that you also do the same. First thing is, uh, try to do these platinum races after you actually beat the game and you are at level 30 so that you get all of the best equipment possible. The equipment you need is an eco recharge booster. Don't go for the cruise booster because the additional 21% speed is actually going to cause problems because uh, you will not be able to maneuver and handle your craft very well. So I went with the eco recharge booster and with the eco and recharge modifiers I also applied a tuned energy core with the tuning part mostly towards the boost. These two ensure that I can run the entire race without having to worry about my afterburners running out. Next thing is you would need to get a light fighter either the scout or the vanguard the reasons for the light fighter are obviously its base speed is above 100 meters per second which is really good second is they are very maneuverable and third which is very critical is because they are very small they would not he be hitting the obstacles and it's hitting the obstacles that would cost you a lot of the races i found that out the hard way even on my medium fighter the tier 3 plus interceptor i have so I was able to beat these races very well with the scout which I was finding practically impossible with even my uh, medium fighters let alone my bomber and gunship. Uh, third thing is okay uh, next last thing would be uh, practice because uh, once you have once you get to understand the layout of these races it becomes very easy to actually do it not very easy but I think some of them are pretty hard so let me tell you which are which ones are harder so let me come here i definitely found uh, this one to be extremely harder the one in prescott starbase the first one this one actually took a long time for me uh, i would say that some of the um, the ones that are actually very long like this one and this one they are actually easier so ones that are longer are actually have a uh, more a uh, buffer so that you get to complete platinum much more easier way especially this one i think uh, you could actually take multiple obstacles you can hit multiple obstacles and still complete this very well okay uh, i don't think i have anything else to say so yeah that's it for these races and uh, hope to see you in the next video which hopefully would be uh, ancient rift with scout and i think it will be a lunacy 500 drift so Till then, stay tuned and thank you for watching.